Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be working on the Mazda 3 again. And hopefully today we're, our goal is to get the oil pan pulled off and get that new no weld plug that I showed you last week put on. So, first we're going to get this car pushed out and we're going to get it properly cleaned like it obviously needs that you've seen in the last video on how dirty it is. So, that's what we're going to do first. Get this, garage, get this car pushed out of the garage and get it washed up. Got it all cleaned up. I'm just going to show her off a little bit. Clean now instead of dirty. Okay, so now that that's over with. Now let's get on to more important matters in hand. Taking this thing for a spin. Eventually. Obviously right now we can't do that. But today we're going to be working on finishing up that oil line that we started working on last week. And also get the oil pan removed to get the no oil plug in. Which actually that's what we're going to start with first. Because that's going to be more extensive because I'd rather go ahead and get that off. Get the new oil plug in. And then get the goo gasket maker and all that and get it put back on. So for next week that'll be already done. Oil return line will already be on. All we got to do, if we don't get to the old uh, feed line, we'll go ahead and get that put on next week as well. And then after that, we'll be working on the exhaust. That'll be coming up next. Uh, and then shortly after that, we should be able to get ready to get this thing started again, hopefully. Cross our fingers that we get it going. Okay, so we got the car back in the garage, and I already got it up on the jack stands. Getting ready to go ahead and drain the oil or what oil is left from where there was a leak already in my line. A lot of it's already leaked out from where the car has just been sitting here. So we're going to go ahead and get that oil plug out, go ahead and get the oil out of what's left, and start removing the oil pan. Okay, we got the oil coming out now. That nut just look great. Okay, so we're going to be taking off the oil pan. This whole big thing right here. So first, before we can even get start pulling, thinking about pulling the pan off, we have to unbolt the AC compressor that's right here. Which is pretty easy. You don't have to unhook anything except take off the bolt here, bolt here, bolt here, and there's supposed to be a nut there, and for some reason it's not. So... We'll fix that when we put it back on. But after you take that off, this thing will just kind of slide. And you can hang it. I usually hang it up somewhere out of the way to where it's not just dangling. And then the oil pan will be ready for removal. And what we need to do with it to get it ready, besides drain the oil, is you got bolts. You got, I'm trying to remember, there's about 12, maybe 16 bolts all the way around this thing the ones right here and you can just follow them all the way around all the way around the other side so to be able to pull this pan off and then of course we'll have to undo this nasty mess over here we we'll set that out of the way for now and okay the oil's about done dripping so stay tuned for the oil pan removal Okay, so as you can see, we got the AC compressor off. So that's all it is. You a couple of bolts to hold that cover on, and then there's four bolts all the way around. They're a mile long, or at least it feels like they are. So after you get those out, 
it just there's a little hook right here and there's a little hook or a, like a resting part that it just rests on and you just kind of push it uh, to the left maybe an inch or so and it pops off and you can pop that belt right off so now it's just kind of just sitting here and it's going to be out of our way because right up here here's we've got some bolts going on the side here and we also have you know these bolts right here that are going to be that were blocked but they're no longer blocked so now what we're going to do is go through and we're going to take all of these bolts out of the oil pan Okay, we got the oil pan off, finally. These oil pans are a little tricky to get off. Um, not necessarily hard, it's just tedious. Just trying to figure out how to move it around uh, your oil pump and all that stuff that's in there and trying to figure it out. But So pretty much all we're going to do now um, is you'll end up cleaning up, scraping off all this old gasket. Take it all off and make sure it gets all nice and clean. Get all that. Make sure there's nothing in here at all. So, so you know, so sort of peel all that gasket, and then you're also, as you can see, you got gaskets all up in there too. So you're gonna have to peel all that off as well. This right here, this cover will need to come off. So, you know, this is a bolt, a bolt, 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 and bolt. All right, up there. All right, so after you get that removed, you can get down to your plug. Okay, so we got that cover off. So now all we're going to do is pop out that old uh, plug that wasn't welded in to begin with and we'll get our new no web plug installed. Okay, so we got the old plug out. This is what it looked like. It looks like we could have screwed a nut on the back, which, you know, maybe I should have to begin with, but we're gonna install the no web plug and then um, go on from there and get the, hopefully get the pan put back on the nut. Okay, we got it in there. I thought we were going to have issues at first because of the the sidewall here, of the of where the the bolt comes in for you know for the oil pan when you for the or well not for the oil pan but for the cover that goes right here because I made this hole a little bit too far to the left instead of more centered. So really didn't think it was going to fit between. But it is installed and it is on there and uh, I'm going to end up washing this and cleaning it up anyway so I may test to put some water in it and stuff and just see if it leaks. Alright, this is what we're going to wrap up this episode for today. Next video will be watched now. We're going to be getting the oil pan put back on. Going to get the oil line put back on. And if we have enough time we're going to start working on the exhaust next time but I'm not sure that might be the next video after that. Everything I've done to this right here yeah, I've done myself and like I said this turbo stuff it's all brand new to me so I'm learning as I go. So if any of y'all have any kind of positive comments preferably uh, I could take negative comments just you know especially if it's something that's going to help me out in the long run please leave in the comments below and if you don't mind the like and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Just stay tuned for next time. And see y'all later.